Here, let's go back, 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 back. back. Hey, what's good, everybody? Before we get into this thing, man, hit that like and subscribe, guys. Hit that notification bell. Tap in in the comments with me. Let me know your guys' feelings. Take opinion all that on the videos and the topic that's how we do it on jay coffee talk so check it out guys you guys seen that footage there um you know this ain't exactly new news this went down about a week ago i believe soldier boy sentenced um you know violating his probation 240 days in jail and then they reinstate the probation not bad actually i guess soldier boy was relieved that's what uh, sources are saying because he was looking at two years um, two years in, in jail, two years locked up. So the judge looked out for him, I guess. Now, this all dates back to a uh, 2014 weapons charge that he, you know, pled out to. And the terms of the probation, you know, you know how probation goes. Keep your nose clean, uh, you know, stay out of trouble, don't do drugs. And which I don't know how the hell Soldier Boy, he must have a medical marijuana card or something. I mean, he lives in Cali, so I guess that's how it is out there because he stays smoking, as we know that. But um, part of it also was community service. Now, this is what blows my mind, man. Not only did he not complete the community service, which he still has to do when he, when he gets back on probation. He's got, he's got a good amount of community service he has to do. But... The man got knocked trying to falsify documents saying that he did the community service time. That's crazy because someone with all this money, uh, you know, in poll like Soldier Boy, who, you know, knows all kinds of people who want to do him favors. You know how it is when you're famous, people want to get in your good graces. How the fuck could you not pull off lying about doing some community service? Because... I, I've done it. I ain't gonna lie. I've had people sign off and say I did community service when I didn't. I had friends do it. I know all kinds of people that did. How did this rich billionaire, he wasn't able to do it. That just blows my mind, man. Um, but there's also something, too, I wanted to uh, holler at you guys out there. Anyone from L.A. who's or who's done time out there on the West Coast, I'm a little con um, confused how the, the, t the time goes to sentencing. Because uh, West and New York, for, where I'm from, New York State, if you get a county year, you know, you get sentenced to a year of the county, 12 months, you do eight months off the rip. Your good time, you know, a third, you only do two thirds of the time. Now, when the judge sentenced him, he gave him 40 days credit. He said 20 days for being, you know, that he's been sitting in custody and 20 days good time. But if you uh, look at what's popping up on the screen there from the research I was able to do to pull up Soldier Boy's, um, you know, booking sheet or whatever you want to call it, it says that he comes home August 2nd, which is just a couple months away. Now, 240 days is eight months. So I don't know, guys, if anyone out there, like if he's only getting 40 days off that, that would bring it down to 200. How would he be getting out that quick in August, August 2nd? So I don't know, y'all. Just curious. As always, guys, you know I like you guys to interact with the video. So if you are from the West Coast, you have done time in L.A. County. You know how the good time system works there with sentencing and everything like that. How much good time comes off, how much you got to serve. Please tap in in the comments and, you know, let me, guys, let me know, guys. So anyways, man. Uh, this couldn't. This came at like a bad time for Soldier Boy, as we know. Um, you know, Soldier Boy isn't exactly my cup of tea with his the kind of music that he makes. I, I ain't gonna front though. He's had some tracks that I fucked with. You know, I'm more about the bars and the lyrics, but 
there was a couple tracks out there that I, I, I could rock with that I thought were okay, you know what I'm saying, that if I was partying, I could turn up to or whatever, but I, I would never just sit there and say, like, I think Soldier Boy is a dope MC. No, no, sir. But anyways, man, this came at a bad time for him because, you know, he just did the media run. Um, you know, he got back to trolling, kind of picked back up where Takashi 6 9 had left off. And, you know, we know that's kind of what Soldier Boy did before 6 9 So he, he, you know, picked up the baton and was like, I'm going to be the one to troll in the game. He did the media run. You know, he had the, the mean moment, the viral moment with the whole Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like, momentum was going Soldier's way. He was saying he had, you know, some, some new music and material on the way. And then, boom, you're sitting back in jail. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's, it's never fun to sit in jail, whether you're a millionaire or not. But um, you better believe that Soldier Boy is feeling that. You know what I'm saying? Um, sitting in there. But, yeah, man, came at a bad time, if you ask me, in my opinion. Now, uh, his brother, you'll see popping up on the screen here, he's, uh, you know... He's feeling Soldier Boy being away. Uh, Lil hundred one hundred dot s o d m g is his name on Instagram. He said, "Laying here thinking about you, bro. Just wish I could chop it up with you, bro. I need to vent. You the only person that never judged me. You said, little bro, we all make mistakes. I know you ain't that person. I just want you to know, big bro. I got a long time. You stay focused when you come home. Love you. So." He didn't see this coming because uh, this guy has kind of been the one keeping everyone when it comes to social media and everything up on Soldier Boy, you know, giving people updates and things. He was hollering at everyone saying Soldier Boy will be home any day. If you remember, the whole thing went down where they stole Soldier Boy's phone, ended up getting stolen and motherfuckers had it in the hood, you know, and everyone up in the hood was getting on, going live and getting on Soldier Boy's live. And I don't know what happened with that. Um, you know, I, they're locked out of the Instagram account now, but word was they stole the phone up out of the house. But um, he was keeping people updated on that situation, and he was saying Soldier Home, Soldier Boy would be home any day. But turns out, man, this judge hit him with time, and they're just not, you know, uh, it just seems kind of crazy to me, you know what I mean? Like, you're rich, you got all this money, you got a good attorney, and like I said, you go to jail because you didn't get some community service done, you couldn't get, you couldn't get someone to sign off for you, that just seems a funny style to me, you know what I mean, but um, anyways guys, that's all I really got, I just wanted to, you know, make this blog, um, you know, let y'all know a couple things, give you my views on this shit, and you know, see what you guys had to say, but it's looking like Soldier Boy will be home August 2nd. And before I close this video out, I just got one more thing I want to talk on and hear uh, you guys respond to in the comments. You might hear me uh, uh, doing videos from time to time. I did a couple recently talking about certain labels. Sometimes it seems like it's bad for an artist to be signed up under. Like um, Shady Records, I was talking about how there's been quite a few artists that signed there and their projects never came out or nothing, right? And, you know, there's other labels. Aftermath, I said, too, like how Rock Him shit never came out and a few other artists, Hitman and dudes. But anyways, the point is, could SODMG, Soldier Boy's label, be the worst for uh, to an artist to be signed under? Because you always see all these little dudes and they always seem more or less like flunkies to me that signed with Soldier Boy. And I, I don't think none of their projects ever come out. You know what I'm saying? And it always seems like them and uh, Soldier Boy seem on bad terms dissing each other uh we've seen it with Riff Raff who I guess him and Soldier Boy are now cool again um you know me being from Buffalo I was aware of John Boy from Buffalo who had signed to SODMG his project never came out under you know Soldier's label and then him and Soldier Boy kind of had like a beef type thing going on so what do you guys think get in the comments let me know is SODMG the worst label for an artist to be signed to look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments Tap in with me on everything I touched in on this video. Fucking community service, dog. Like, are you serious? Couldn't donate someone a little bit of bread and they signed off for you. I just That just blows my mind, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It's Jay Coffee Talk. Covering sports, music, news, hip-hop news, rap news, current events. All types of uh, content, guys. 
Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'm out of here. Peace.